All right, hello guys. Today we will be making our first Stormworks video. We will be learning how to make a drone and a main concept for other helicopter-based vehicles and quote-unquote drones and stuff. So I'm going to go here and refresh it. This is something that I'm building in, like, a creative mode so everything that I'm doing here is not gonna have the normal electric capacity uh, to build stuff that you would normally need to fly for long durations this drone uh, I'm just gonna call it a scorpion because it's kind of scorpion shaped um, it's good because it's decently stable. It's nice for if you want to mount a camera or add some missiles to the bottom or just have a something to fly with. So some of the things that we will be needing is a block, a small duct fan, a compact pilot seat, small motor, Uh, then we will be needing a, a rotor, a light rotor end, a gyro, and a throttle lever, and a battery. So for the version that I'm making right now is good in uh, modes that you have like infinite electricity and infinite fuel on if you want to make one that's for a normal world you won't need to change too much you might just need to add a medium-sized battery but for this we only need one small battery sorry i thought i already typed in battery so what you want to do is you want to take on this first block Place your seat down. Then you want to make from there extend it to a three by three square. If you're not if you're playing in a non-survival world and you have to worry about money, this entire build is not much. It's like a seat, a couple motors, duct, some propellers, and a gyro. The gyro or the seat is probably the most expensive part. From here, you want to move it out like five, six blocks. Actually, nah, you don't even need to. You can do like four. Yeah, four, maybe five. We'll see in a second. Uh, let's see. Of course, uh, in the future, I can probably, I probably will be doing some videos on how to modify it, make it better, add some special camera stuff. But uh, if you guys want me to do that, like, subscribe. So here you add the propellers, and you have to remember to turn all of these. You have to click on the select button. Click on the propeller and turn the blade pitch to neutral. So that way the gyro can control the blade pitch. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always slow down the video. Uh, and I can try to go slower in future videos. But then you got to place the gyro on the bottoms because then it's not really in the way of anything because I'm trying to make this really compact. So from here, you have to take the stabilized up and down. Connect it to the collective. Stabilize the yaw. No, we'll worry about that in a second. Stabilize roll. Connect to all the roll. And the pitch. To the pitch. And then, in order to control the motors, we have to bring the base plate out just a little bit so that we have a lip. 
that we can place a throttle lever on. And you want to connect these to all the motors. And just for time's sake, I'm going to just put our little battery down there for now. Remember, this is only for if there's infinite electricity. If there's more than if there's not infinite electricity, what you can do is you can take smaller batteries and place them on the undersides, and you can get like uh, three in per wing, plus the small batteries don't cost too much. This is very, a very cheap and effective design. But I'm sure many of you are saying that this machine will probably have some problems with turning, with going up and down, some problems like that. Since it has three propellers, it'll only go like that in an arc. How we counteract that is by using the gyro. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the gyro soon and our sponsor. So from here, you, you want to do that, and then take you want to build out a little bit more, like, yeah, you guys can count. Um, you want to take another small motor, and if you guys are wondering, all motors in this are small motors, uh, soon I can do a different video on how to modify it. You want to take a small duct fan, and make sure the positive arrow is facing, if you're looking like this in comparison to the arrow down there, you want to make sure the positive arrow is facing to the left. Because what you're going to do is take this and connect it to the yaw. Now we still won't be able to control it because we haven't attached the gyro to the controls on our seat. You'll see that the gyro says auto hover, so you think it might be like an add-on to make it easier to fly, but I found through my numerous helicopter stuff, I've been adventuring around with helicopters for a long time. You really need auto hover, or it just spins out, and you have to constantly uh, be tapping one button or holding another. So you want to take the on and off, the toggle, and put it to the trigger button, the space bar. And you want to take your yaw and put it onto the right and left. And you want to take up and down to the Stabilize collective, then roll to AD and pitch to WS. Now let's see if it flies. So look, I'm gonna show. Currently, I don't have the uh, throttle on, or not the throttle, the gyro. So if I just turn this on, see what happens. I'm not even holding anything, and this is what happens. Look, I'm going to go ahead and spawn this back in, redo it. It kind of just falls backwards because of its alignment, how it leans up a little bit. So all the propellers are at an angle. They are not, why aren't these neutral? Okay, yeah, nah, I made a mistake. No, I didn't, never mind, sorry about that. Why? okay. So I click the space bar, see how they all clicked into place. That's because of their default state, and when I click on the gyro, the gyro keeps it in a slightly more neutral position defaultly. Okay, this is much better. It's not the most stable thing in the world because we're currently inside, but generally for something this compact, it's a good craft if you know how to pilot it well. Its height, its height is okay. It's not, it can't go like super duper high, and it's not as like, you could theoretically have it go higher faster if you add a duct at the bottom and kind of turbo boost it up, but then you'd have to find the exact center of balance and equal everything out using like detachable electric connectors and stuff. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good craft. It's slow, but then again, all helicopters are slow in my opinion, unless you add like a booster or it's a VTOL. But if you add boosters to the back of this, I'm actually soon going to be making another video on a hover bug which is a little th thing I came up with after experimenting around with smaller drone designs. Uh, you could actually probably convert this into a, ho a hover bug, but don't really need to. Uh, this thing actually can reach the clouds decently fast. Let's say there's something happening and you're, you and your friends are having a dog fight and you're trying to scout around with this. If you have a parachute, a parachute, like a modification I can do is have it so that there's a 
parachute in the back there because this is so small that if you stand up, turn around, pick up the parachute, you can jump off. You can also clear the blades and then about here, parachute off. Also, trick if you uh, use the uh, no clip hack, you actually won't take fall damage. If you can, if you will go, if you switch the modes in midair, it places your character there without any extra velocity. What the heck is this? Oh. Demon. Um, alright. So, some modifications you can do just to add some more speed, just some more stuff in general, is you can up the amount of blades to 8, just to get a little bit more lift. And you can move it a little bit further out and increase the blade length, or you could just increase the blade length. I suggest doing this only in certain situations. Because as you'll see, I have, because of the way how I have my settings set, I won't take damage from this kind of stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Turn on uh, your gyro before you power this thing up any degree, because it just goes crazy. So the more power, the more blades you put on this, the less stable it'll actually become. Currently, I'm not touching anything. Right now, I'm not touching anything. And it's kind of moving around a little bit. But let's say you're doing this and you have a camera and you have a separate person using some controls to view from a camera like at the bottom. They can have a stabilized gimbal or something like that. Whoa, what was that? Ah. Gosh. Yeah, no, I'm not touching anything. Oh, God. So, if you have something like this, I, I actually have found out that if you put gearboxes on, like, something like this, and it's to increase power, what will actually happen is your blades will spin not as fast underwater because it won't have enough torque or horsepower on the spinning blades. They continue to spin. I remember there's all sorts of modifications you can do with something as simple. You could turn it into a submarine by covering up the top and covering up some of the motors and stuff. You could, like, add more landing. You could add landing gear. You can do all sorts of stuff. All right, this is the end of my video for today. Um, I hope you all have a nice day. I'll see you later.